I'm Dan Esquino, president of Mount Wachusa Community College, and we have here the official college vehicle. It's a, a plug-in Prius, which gets around uh, 100 miles per gallon. Originally, we uh, been involved in uh, green energy, sustainability, before it was uh, even fashionable, approximately 15 years ago when uh, we looked at the, our electric bill. We were paying over a million dollars a year, so at that time, uh, someone from our uh, forest and wood products uh, board suggested uh, biomass as an alternative energy source. These are the wood chips that were currently used to heat this entire facility of about 430,000 square feet. You might ask, why wood chips? Well, the real reason was when I got to this campus about 20 years ago, I found it hard to believe that the entire campus was being heated and air conditioned by electricity, which is really an outmoded uh, source of power. The first question that everyone asks when they look at this power plant is what did it cost? Well, the total project cost, including a number of energy conservation measures, is roughly $4.3 million. This entire facility and all of the ancillary functions were incorporated without costing Mount Wachusett Community College a dime. This is Mount Wachusett Community College's photovoltaic installation. It represents 100 kilowatts of power. It was funded in part by a clean renewable energy bond, which is a zero interest bond, as well as a grant from the Massachusetts Technology Collaborative. Roughly $850,000 to make this installation in place. It covers the better part of our roof and produces about 100 uh, kilowatts of power. Right behind me, we're gonna install two 1.65 megawatt turbines, which will produce approximately 97% of the college's uh, demand. In fact, we'll be able to put back approximately 30% of our output capacity back into the grid. We've saved almost $4 million since 2002 to now. We've displaced 17 million uh, gallons of water and conserved in the order of 36 million kilowatts of electricity. Those are staggering numbers. Uh, the biggest hurdle in many cases is always the capital. Where do you find the money? You may have a wonderful idea, but where do you find the money to, to implement this new uh, initiative? I think the college was very, very creative in leveraging multiple resources. We received money from the U.S. Department of Energy, from the Massachusetts Technology Collaborative Renewable Energy Trust Fund. We received energy rebates from the utilities companies, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it was parlaying all of those funds and utilizing performance contracting to cement that whole project together, which I think is the unique aspect. I think any college can put in a plant, any college can put in a turbine, but how one finances that and does that with minimal impact on the institution, and in our case, generating positive cash flow, I think that's the uniqueness of this particular installation. If we were uh, had the same operation today that we had 15 years ago, prior to uh, the biomass, the photovoltaics, and the wind turbines, and all of the uh, renovations we've made. If we had done none of those things, I, I really can't envision the college being in business today. As a result of all the renewable energy work that we've done, sustainability and the concepts of renewable energy have really become the mantra of this institution. It's now infused throughout our curriculum, and as a matter of fact, our, our institution was granted the authority to offer a degree in this area whether it's our English, whether it's our newspaper, everybody's embraced the work that we're doing and uh, it's infused throughout everything that we do on this campus.